Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Daniel. I'm Cal. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. Here we go. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because we can grow a lot of stuff on the farm. But one thing we can't grow is this channel without your help. Welcome back, everyone. It's so nice to see you. We just got finished with setting up the farm market. It's not quite opening time yet, but Callie and I are making our way down to the greenhouse. Come on, Callie, come on. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, the sun is in my eyes too, but that's okay. Oh, she's made it play in the dirt. The first thing Callie did when she made it into the greenhouse was show them that she has cups to play with dirt. There you go. Dump it from that one into here, okay? <laughs> Good job. Now that we've got the hardest worker taken care of, we can move on to a different job. For now, we're working on tagging each one of these baskets. Now these baskets are called cocoa liners uh, from the cocoa liner that we have in them. We just like to put a tag on top with the price and with the basic information. So if someone picks up this basket, say for their mother or for somebody else, their mother can look at the tag, uh, whoever else can look at the tag and know, okay, this is what I have to do. And what we also do is we put another tag in the pot itself with more plant information so that the customers can take care of each individual pot that they get. We just quickly got all our hanging basket tags put into place. Now the tags are very important for the reasons that I had just mentioned, but there's also another big reason as to why we like having the tags on there. And that reason is the more information that a customer has, the more comfortable they are in making a purchase. You will notice in each one of our individual pots and in our hanging baskets, there are always tags that on the back have plenty of information about the plant. How much space each plant needs, whether it needs full sun, part sun, full shade, and even some other information that you don't really think about. Like this, good for containers. So that's important if someone's working on container pots, well, then they know what to plant. We also have some special tags for our herbs that actually have some recipes in it. So that's always something that I've enjoyed, looking at the recipe tags. But we gotta take a break from what we're doing because Callie is looking for crocodiles in the greenhouse. So we're all on a crocodile hunt. Matthew, has Callie seen any crocodiles? She says yes, but I asked her to show me where and she's looking for the spot, she can't remember. Look at that. Yeah, these are called spikes, you can touch them. Go like this. You'll notice that we've got a full force of women with us today and when all the women are down here, they just fly through trees. So we're gonna have to work on putting some together. Sometimes when you're looking for a specific item, it can be a little difficult, especially when you have all these boxes that you have to search through. That's why it's super important to be here on the day when you're putting everything in here, because if you're not here, then, oh, you're lost. Morning, Daniel. Morning. Uh-oh, this isn't good. I know. I blame the box. Might be getting close to retire a few of these trays, but as long as they hold the pots, that's the number one thing we need. We don't really carry too many around with these trays. They just need to hold the pots and hold a decent amount of water. That's all we need them to do. Now these trays that we're using, they're a little more on the expensive side, but that's for good reason. These are called flood trays. You'll notice there's no holes in the bottom of the trays. And usually that's not a good thing because you want your soil to drain. However, because of the type of trays and because of the way we water these certain types of plants, uh, it allows us to not have to worry about these plants drying out near as often. Now you don't want to constantly soak them, soak them, soak them because then that will lead to disease. 
However, the way we water these plants, um, these trays just work out great. So that's a neat little hack that we have, flood trays. That's how you know we're behind when the girls are taking it right off the pot filler machine. Now with this soil that we're using today, it's not even really technically soil. This is called a professional soilless growing medium. Now the main ingredient in this growing medium is peat moss. Now the fact that we're using peat moss, it is very, very dry. It also allows them to really compress these bales. The peat moss allows for an easy spread of roots. It allows for the plant to have plenty of oxygen around the roots. And it also allows for there to be a crazy amount of dust when you're using it. Another excellent factor of the peat moss is it also holds more moisture. And when you're transplanting into pots, that's a big deal. Now we like to add a little bit of water to this to cut down on the dryness when you're working with it. When this stuff comes out of the pot filling machine, it just puts dust all up in your face, your sneeze and your cough. It's just not fun, it's not healthy. So by adding a little bit of water to the mixture, it cuts down on all that dust, making it a lot easier to work with. Now we've talked about the soilless mixture in the past, but it's always important to bring it up when we start to get into planting time. Uh, it really helps you to appreciate how well these plants do in the pots, and one of the big contributors to that is the soil. And with our pot filling machine, it breaks that soil up so nice, it makes everything nice and fluffy. It gives these plants the best start possible, which I think is what draws a lot of people to our greenhouse. Our plants always look so good early on, and when people take them home, they just continue to do well. Matthew and I have a great opportunity to get a little bit ahead of the girls right now. They ran up to take a break, so we're gonna just continue filling trays until we run out. You guys okay? Oh, you took a hard fall. One on top of this. No, I think we're good. Or maybe it all fit. Who knows? Probably one way to find out. We thought we just had to fill up square pots. The girls came back with like 10 different things for us to fill up. We need 806 packs, and then Daniel also needs to fill up some hanging bags. So it just got a little crazier in here. You know, while I'm working on this, it's a great opportunity to talk about how things have been going at home. Lauren has been doing really good. Babies also are doing really good. I was worried I was gonna be more tired than I am, but I don't know if it's because the babies were a little premature or what it is. They just seem to be sleeping really, really well. Now we've gotta put some weight on the babies, so we have to get them up every few hours for Lauren to feed them. So, I mean, you're getting up constantly. You're not sleeping through the whole night, but, it hasn't been as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Uh, I like to get up with Lauren throughout the night. She tells me I don't need to get up all the time, but she's still recovering and it's kind of hard for her to move the babies around. So I kind of like to get up and help her. It's been a little difficult, you know, not getting a lot of sleep at home and then coming to work, working and then going home and helping out. But I've had so much fun with it. It really hasn't been that hard on me. Uh, I am tired all the time and I think that works out for every new parent. It doesn't matter if you've got one kiddo running around, two kiddos, or even three kiddos. Uh, it's all a lot of work, but it's worth it. So worth it. Speaking of, what's your question? I don't have bubbles here. Do we have bubbles here? Uh oh. I don't know. We'll have to find out if we have bubbles. But I just want to talk about that for a few minutes. I know there was a lot of people curious about the babies and about Lauren. They're doing good. And for those that were curious about me, I'm doing well also. I, I I feel like I should be more tired. I'm not gonna lie, I am tired, but I have not been sleeping near as much as I'm used to. As long as the babies are healthy, as long as mama's doing good and Callie is doing good as well, then I got no complaints. 
I'm blessed. My family's been helping me out a lot. We're doing good, and I'm glad I'm able to get over here and work, too, because I miss being at the farm and being in the greenhouse. All right, Callie, tell everyone what you just got. Everybody got bubbles. I think we've got plenty of 806 trays for now. All we have to do is fill them up. We'll get to that in a second. I'm actually going to run down around back. The boys are working on animals. I'm going to make sure they don't need any help. It looks like I showed up while they were working on finishing up feeding. They also graded everything out here so it's a lot smoother. Looks a lot nicer when you have everything smoothed out like this. Hopefully things dry up soon, so it's not all wet, but looks good for now. How's everything been going with the animals this morning? Everything's been going well and we have no problems until Andrew showed up. What? I don't know, I don't know how me being here is a problem, but okay. You showed up late. The girls have been keeping me busy in the greenhouse, Daniel. They said that's your job. They gave me your job. Well, I can't be everywhere. And besides animals, what have you been working on this morning? We have more lay chickens coming because we're not getting enough eggs. So we're making a, a pen for another hundred lay chickens. It's always nice having so much help. We can have a few people working down with the animals, getting the farm market all taken care of. Then we also can have a few people in the greenhouse helping out the ladies. It does always seem to switch between who's doing what, but that's okay. We like variety. What's really nice about this machine, besides everything else that we've already mentioned, is that you can adjust the levels for everything. So we were filling the four and a half inch pots. Now we're doing our 806 cell trays. You can see we got eight packs of six. So we call these 806s or 48s, and we're able to break these packs apart and sell them that way. So the girls are gonna be transplanting into these, so I've gotta get plenty of them filled. Callie. Uncle Matt just made Callie's day. What do you got there, Callie? <laughs> oh, wow, look at all those bubbles. You can see Grammy is here working on the 806s, and then over here, Aunt Bonnie is working on the bags. These bags are pretty interesting. Once they get completely filled up, it's just like a blanket of flowers. It's pretty cool. I think that's every little girl's dream running through a greenhouse full of flowers with bubbles all around singing frozen oh man that might be my dream i'll have to try it someday so we've got aunt Rhonda and monty over there working on our 806 trays that we have filled i do have a little backup built up so if they need more trays they're right here and i also have some more trays ready to be filled and an entirely full uh, pot filling machine for now i think i'm good in here i don't have too many more jobs in the greenhouse so what we're gonna do is head down around back and see how the boys are getting along with putting that chicken pen together. What are you doing driving my side-by-side -side around? What do you mean? You need to clean the windows. <laughs> oh, okay. Boy, these windows are dirty. Why'd you get them so dirty? I don't know how that happened. It looks like Dad and Daniel got this cleaned up really good. 
they just want to work on the roof a little bit more and then we'll have to put sides on it because you know can't have chickens running around we don't have chickens running around anymore yeah but i'm telling them we don't want chickens running around matthew's around here somewhere i rode up with dad to the germination greenhouse he's grabbing a square from inside our building he's got some more work to do at the roof i want to check this greenhouse make sure it's not too hot in here you don't want to be ruining any of our plants oh, it feels pretty warm we're sitting at around 92 degrees i don't know is that too hot i think it is a little bit we'll just crack this window a tiny bit get some airflow some of these trays look like they're just ready to be moved out but still need a few days for some Some of these are so small, I'm separating them. So back here in the largest greenhouse, we've got everybody working on something different. Aunt Rhonda, she was working on doing some watering. Matthew is making hanging baskets up. He's getting those hung up then. And then Aunt Bonnie, she's still over here transplanting. There's so many moving parts to a large greenhouse like this. It can be very confusing. That's why it's so important we communicate and we keep track of everything we can. Because these are all different types of flowers. Anywhere you see a tag, different variety of flowers. And there's all these varieties, what we have over here, and then this entire table is filled up. And then there's another table over there, and we mix and match different basket combinations based on what we have. So that's why it's so important to keep track of everything, because there's certain basket combinations that are more popular than others. And if we can't put those together, Oh, well, the customers won't be happy. All righty, all righty. Lunchtime is here, and it looks like we are having chip venison. Whoo, that sounds good. We got finished with lunch, and first thing I did was take Callie back home, got her down for a nap. I'm here at the farm again. If you look all the way over there on the hill, the cattle are out enjoying themselves. The weather has gotten really nice. I was just talking with Dad. He's down around back, still working on that chicken pen. They're trying to get that finished because the chickens are coming on Monday. I am heading back into the greenhouse to help Matthew, who is filling up 806 trays. I guess the girls have been pretty busy. They have been. Sometimes this thing will clump up if it's been running for a while. Uh, we had it sitting with a little too much moisture down here in the base. So we'll, we'll have to move a little bit of soil around. But you just turn it off, make sure it's locked. Then you don't got to worry about anything. Dad just showed up and gave me a different job. I'm going with my uncle to pick up some calves. Dad is taking the truck somewhere else. He's got another job he's working on. So Matt's going to be in here by himself. And Uncle Jeremy and I are going to get hooked up to the trailer and be on our way for these calves. I think we're picking up three calves. Interestingly enough, I think it's one's a set of twins and then another calf, which isn't that cool. I think so. Just like that, we got the trailer hooked up. Now we're gonna be on our way. Made it to the dairy farm with Uncle Jeremy. Got our trailer put into place and these are the little calves. We are taking the Angus calves here. I'm thinking, they're the twins and we got this guy right here wow okay so now i just need to only get the angus calves out without getting the rest of them out Just got all the calves moved into the cafeteria. We have our first twin there. We have our bull calf and there's our second twin. I didn't want to split them up, but that bull calf is so big that I put them in the middle pen because it was the largest. Good deal. Three new babies on the farm. This farm is just full of babies. I mean, there's babies everywhere. Well, that took a little bit of time to run and grab those calves. I don't see anybody in here except for Aunt Ron. So 
She's working on watering, finishing up for the day. I'm just gonna head up into the farm market and see what we have going on up there and it might be closing time. I just got home and the first thing I did was change because I was covered in cow manure. How you doing over here, Callie? What are you looking for? I'm gonna get a balloon. She wants a balloon really bad. So I'm gonna have to get her a balloon tomorrow morning. But anyway, everyone's probably curious how the twins are doing. Right now, they are sitting on Nana. So we're gonna go film Nana with the twins. Here's Nana with the twins, both of them sleeping. Look at that, we got little Ronnie here, Lily. Wow, they're beautiful. And then we have Lauren. How are you feeling today, hon? Oh, she's eating a protein bar. She's trying to eat enough protein. Keep up with the babies feeding. Yep. They eat a lot. They're definitely taking after me in that aspect. They're still falling asleep while they eat though. Once they start falling asleep after they eat, then we'll know for sure that they're really coming into their own. But we just want to check on mama. Mama's doing good. Doing good. I'm trying to take care of her. I've been making her some cool lunches that she can have throughout the they're, day. They've been delicious. Ooh, look at that. I need a balloon. You need a balloon. I understand you need one, but can I get you one tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Whew. Whew. Alrighty, uh, since I am home, we're gonna get ready to make some dinner. That means this is where we're gonna end the video today. If you have not already, please like the video. It helps us out a ton. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe because also that helps us out like crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye bye